Hello again. Let's talk about the production tab. As you can see, we can go to the production drop down and do job search. Again, same as before. Oh. Do a search for the jobs, populates, and you can click and go straight to that job. Okay. Various things you can sort it by. District name, job ID, dates. Okay. That can be helpful. Well, let's just click to this job here. Gill test. That'll work. Okay. Okay. Again, it takes all of its information from the prospect side. Okay. If you click on this, their name, it'll take you directly to the prospect. Phone numbers will pop those up. Okay. As you can see, emails, any of the emails and more information is right here. You don't have to click a drop down or anything. Of course, to edit it, Click the edit button. Okay. You have your batching section. Paperwork in transit. Please keep that up to date. Okay. Your salesman commission. Okay. Financing. Resources. Additional products. Okay. We even have our jobs tabs that will pop up. Oh. And I have an unread alert. Okay, warranty for our aftermarket and our pumps. Okay, let's cancel it. Okay, you can edit your status. Again, very important to keep that up to date. Okay. On the left side here, we have our general you know, links, our milestone data. Okay. Same as before. Okay. To do comments, of course, this one has no comments, but you can add it. Notes, documents. Again, you've got the constricted version, or you have the expanded. Reminds me, I need a new mouse. Okay. Permits tab. Add a permit. Click the box. And it fills in. And you can fill it in. Okay. Change orders. Okay. Editing, adding, financing, and you can email directly from the Jobs tab. You do not have to go over to the Prospect tab anymore. Okay? You have your... <clears throat> email templates, all your different templates and everything to go through. Looks like I'm going to have to activate that. Okay. So the jobs tab, pretty straightforward. Okay. Go into production again. You have your milestone. Now, you can edit directly from here. Unfortunately, sometimes it has some old stuff in here. But again, Filter, search for things, search criteria, okay, show your entries, but you can actually go through, yeah, gotta get out of that. Okay, let's just okay. 
there. But if you wanted to edit something, you could actually go from right from here to the job. Okay. Production. Last. Production calendar. Options, start, market. Now, it'll, it actually has a, a couple of different ways. We have our districts and our markets, same thing. Okay. Now, there's a few different things here. You have a legend, which sort of explains the colors and the symbols. Okay. But you can sort these by day. Unfortunately, right now, it's just, you know, it actually does it by installer, but there's a lot of installers. You can do a 10-day calendar, a month-long calendar. So it gives you an idea of what's on the schedule. Regular calendar. Agenda. You know, I want you to look at this, play around with it a little bit. Okay. There's a couple of different options we're going to get used to giving a try here. Okay. We also have our service calendar. Okay. Oh. A little more service calls. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to edit this down. Excuse me. By market. Okay. So it gives you an idea right looking at it, what it is, and you can hover over it. It gives you a pop-up, so you don't necessarily have to click to see what's going on with it. Again. You can look at a day view. Now, right now, it just shows you by installer, but we're working to try to get it by service text as an option. Okay. Again, different views. It is a work in progress, but it's in the right direction. Of course, we have our accounting with our AR batches, pendings, and all those still. Okay. Now, of course, with it being a lot bigger, it sort of has to scroll over a little bit. Again, you can sort it. And click on status, entered by. There's also a wide version here. Don't know why, why it has it on this one. Okay. Your scheduling does. <laughs> That's something some people have been playing with. You can check with Lene in uh, DPN. I think she was working on it, but it's something in pro it's a in progress right now to help with our scheduling. So you should see that hopefully in a couple of months. But again, this is the production tab. Same thing, a little more tweaks in it, a little easier to use. Thanks, and have a great day.